The next question is from uh, Nick Miles. Prime Minister Turnbull, Sheikh Shady Al uh, Salaman has made comments calling homosexuality an evil act which brought evil outcomes. How are these any more apparent than the uh, comments by Senator Cory Bernardi suggesting that homosexuality leads to bestiality or George Christensen's likening of safe schools to pedophile grooming? Well, what do you want me to say, mate? I mean, you quote three filthy homophobes there and then you say, well, what do you reckon, Malcolm? Well, you know what I reckon, mate. I'm completely open to the idea of same-sex marriage and people expressing themselves sexually. I mean, if you want to blow a dude, go ahead and do it. It's not illegal. Throw a cock party. Just cover yourself in human jizz. It's okay. <laughs> but really and truly, I'm sick of this left-wing shock jockery from the Q&A producers. I mean, designed to confect left-wing emotion. Really and truly, I think that Tony would have a better thing to do on his Monday night than come along and listen to this kind of superficial garbage. And why don't you do something with your life? Join the CAE, join a TAFE course, learn an extra skill, weave a sun hat out of a banana palm, do anything but come along and ask obvious questions about what do you reckon, Mr Turnbull, when it comes to homosexuality or sexual freedom. I mean, have an orgy, mate. Get some mates around. Fill that red beard of yours with cum. I don't give a fuck, but don't ask any more dumb questions. One word answer, did you say that to Corey Bernardi? What I said to him was, you call yourself a Christian, Corey. If Jesus Christ turned up tomorrow, you'd nail him to the cross again. I mean, he's a Nazarene that can't establish where he's from. He's travelling without proper documentation. He can't establish who his father was. He hasn't got any skills. He didn't finish his carpentry apprenticeship. He's an unskilled labourer on a 457 visa. I mean, he's a long-haired larrikin. Speaking out against the dominant paradigm, you'd lock him up on Christmas Island, ironically, named after him, Jesus Christ Christmas, and there he is. Locked up forever without representation by Peter Potato Head Dutton. That's what you would do with Jesus Christ if he came from the Middle East today preaching words of peace and reconciliation. That's what you do to him, Corey. You filthy little onanist. God's watching you. That's what I said to him.